Hi everyone, I'm Ryan, welcome back to the garage. This week I'm trying to understand why I've still got low compression on this cylinder. Um, having disappointingly tested it um, last week, following a rebuild, um, it's not good. Let's try and work out why not. So last week following the rebuild, I did compression tests on both cylinders. The This side I was getting about 90 PSI, this side I was getting barely 10, if that. So there's clearly a problem, I need to understand why. Um, I can give it another test now, following a, a charged up battery. So I was doing it with a relatively flat battery last week. Let's do that again now, let's recheck the results. And also just watch down here, just make sure that I get oil flowing. So that's drained away over the week, um, same both sides. So let's crank her over, test it and um, watch for oil. All right, start with the right hand side. So that is about 90, just under 95 psi. And the left hand side. Disappointingly good, disappointingly pressure, but uh, good oil flow. <laughs> so I'm pleased at that. The oil's at least coming up and lubricating around the top end, but the pressure is um, about 10 psi, maybe slightly more. So the low compression can only be caused by a relatively small number of things. The valve adjustment's wrong so the valves are being held open. I don't think that's the case, but I'll double check it. A crack in the cylinder, piston or head, again, don't believe so, might need to check that. The most likely cause, to my mind, are the valves seeping. So, I was trying to think, people suggested leak down tests. I haven't got a compressor, I don't have any tools. But what I do have is the attachment off of my um, compression tester and a balloon and I was thinking if I wind this into the spark plug socket and then try and blow air in through the inlet if the valves are shut it should not be possible to get air through to that and if there's valves are leaking then I possibly can so I'm gonna try that and see what results I get. So this is what I've just dreamt up. I've got this set to top dead center. The cylinder in question is not in compression. So the valves, I've got movement on the valves. They're definitely closed. Therefore air should not be able to pass through them. Balloon is attached to the spark plug hole. I'm gonna blow in here and see if I can detect any movement on this balloon at all. Well, that could not have been more clear. That is my problem. Interesting. I'd ran the same test on the good side, um, expecting to not blow up the balloon, which I can't. But when I'm trying to pressurize the inlet, air is seeping from around here somehow. So I'm going to check that out. So that was worthwhile doing. Whilst it proved there was no leak past the valves, it has identified a completely shot o-ring um, which was uh, allowing air to pass past it. So that had nothing to do with my compression test but definitely would have been a problem later. So I'm glad I've picked it up now. So before we go any further, I'll be fitting a nice new O-ring. 
So on this side at least, I now get the results I was hoping for. Perfect. And we'll change the left hand O-ring as well, just for completeness, even though that one was in fact not too bad. So having this test, there's definitely a problem with the valves. I'm going to start stripping the head off and um, see if we can't work out why. So uh, I'm going to slacken these off, use the manual, undo them in the correct sequence, remove the head and um, let's have a look together. Okay, now I'm just removing the oil from the chambers on the head before I take it off. Try and uh, create slightly less waste. So I try a little test and I put a little bit of liquid on here. And this is wet. You can see it coming out the inlet. So clearly the inlet valves are leaking. Um, and if I apply some pressure, so there's my problem. I'm forever blowing bubbles. Whereas on this side, nothing. So why is that side failed? Let's have a look. Visually, it looks good to me. Well, the only thing I can think to do is to give it a good clean, relap it in, try it again. Nothing obvious. All right, I'm going to start again using the coarse side to begin with. And we'll put plenty of that on it and um, we'll try I don't know if that's too much it probably is but I'll clean that off in a bit however let's give it a good relapping okay so I've done the course and I seem to have a nice clearly defined silver ring there and I think the edge of the valve looks good to me so I'm going to now try repeat the process this time using the fine end of the tin right well I finished regrinding that the seat to my eye looks absolutely perfect now the valve similarly nice shiny edge all the way around the underside so uh, let's retry that one. Just about to put this back together and I just remembered somebody advised me use a dab of grease to try and hold up to try and hold the collets in place. It might not be as easy as it sounds but I will give that a go and see if that helps. Okay so I've just relapped the right hand valve but not the left one and if I just do a quick test I'm now only getting bubbles from the left so I think I've just improved the situation now I've got to do the same for that one so I think I've just found the smoking gun the lesson to learn is I've just removed this valve which I'm thinking to myself well I've lapped it in the last time why would it be a problem there's clear evidence of paste still on the back so you know what I haven't done is I bet I haven't cleaned all the paste off after 
I've ground them in. And I bet that's the problem. I bet I've done it and left the paste on the back of the valves and that's what's causing my leaks. That makes far more sense to me than anything else I've thought of so far. So let's time to do it properly and clean it up afterwards. And I think I'll be all right. One more test before I put it back in. Hey, no more leaking inlet valves. Time now to reassemble the head. Okay, so I'm gonna re reconduct my recently invented balloon test. Excellent. Here we go, Heath Robinson compression test. So I've turned the engine over so the exhaust valve is closed, the inlet valves are open. I can blow up the balloon, the piston is now compressed, lightly, the exhaust is compressed, the piston rings are being tested, everything is holding pressure. Great, it's good to go. Do we have any compression? We have compression! Oh, about 110. Okay, still think it could be higher, but nothing's run in yet. Check I haven't screwed up this side. About the same. I'm here just where I fit a new uh, rocker cover gasket. And, um, get that clean up first. Okay. So I've just gone to put the rocker cover gasket back on, and uh, this um, uh, uh, this carrier that I used, I've just found, has got stripped out threads. So I can't secure the rocker cover down. And this was the carrier, if you remember back to an earlier video, that I took out of another engine. So that damage must have been there when I first got it and I didn't notice. Therefore I'm going to try and swap this out. I've got the original set of carriers, but they're very badly worn. So I'm wondering, can I replace the actual arms keeping the carrier itself. Don't know, going to do a bit of investigation. Yeah, remarkably easy. So actually these pins can, can just slide out um, and I can fit the much better arms to the courier with the um, undamaged thread. So let me do that now. So yes, that's now the best carrier I've got without the damage with the best condition rockers that I've got. Good. Okay, so that's the head reconstructed again with everything torqued down again. Different uh, carrier, this time with threads in it and uh, the better condition rockers. So I'm gonna give it a quick turnover now. If everything's good, head, uh, head um, rocker cover on. I think she's done. So just wrap it up for the weekend, covers back on, side cover back on, um, just replaced this hardware on the um, high tension pow uh, cable to the starter motor, that was all corroded, in fact had these little broken bits on it which um, managed to get off, anyway new hardware now so that's all good. And uh, she turns over wonderfully, got compression pretty equal on both cylinders, 
Uh, I think she's ready to go back in the bike. Well, thank you. That's getting late now. I'm out of time for the weekend. Um, please do like, subscribe to this channel, share it with your friends. Uh, you can contact me on Instagram on Ryan's Garage UK. Um, I feel like I'm making progress now. Hopefully get the engine back into the frame pretty damn quickly and then we can start testing the electrics. So with that, thanks very much. Hope you liked my improvised uh, trick with a balloon. It uh, worked well for me at least. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Cheers, thank you very much. Bye for now.